I'm at Six Flags Magic Mountain for 2019 Fright Fest. So you and I dive right in. First off, before we get started, I just want to say thanks to Six Flags Magic Mountain for inviting me and my good friend Sarah Palmer out here. I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the description below to her Instagram, so be sure to check her out as well. But yeah, I'm super excited to have a bunch of fun tonight. It's been a while since I've been to Fright Fest, so yeah, let's just get the night started. So here's the park map this year, and you can see uh, where all the mazes and scare zones are located. And then also right here in the corner, the top uh, left here, right by Aftermath 2, they have Apocalypse all ready to go. And that's open tonight, so if you guys are coming to the park, be sure to ride Apocalypse because it's finally back open. How exciting is that? So right now we're heading over towards Batman because uh, during Fright Fest, that's how they usually kick off the event is by unleashing all the monsters in this area over by Batman. So that's what we're going right now. And ooh, the sun is so bright, wow. On a side note, look at how much progress they've done on Green Lantern. That's crazy. Just the other day in my other video, they still had a lot of this track up, but now it's all taken down. They just have a little bit more left to go. Unleashed. That was pretty cool. Um, I like how they have all the monsters just kind of run out right there. That was a really cool little aspect of uh, opening <laughs> night. And I think they do that every single night. So if you want to check that out when you come to Fright Fest, go in the back by Superman, or not Superman, Batman. Alrighty, so here is the entrance to Sewer of Souls. Uh, this was a new maze last year and it's back again. So this is really cool check this one out oh it looks like this year they have um this open over here because last year this wasn't open so i wonder if we go in that way or exit that way i'm not sure sewer of souls let's do it all righty here we go free pink eye Look at this. 
is awesome. at the end. All right, so we just got out of uh, Sewer of Souls. What'd you think? Pretty good, pretty good. Good illusions yeah. in there. We had a lot of, ooh. So yeah, the maze had a lot of like really cool illusions, especially the one uh, that you walked down this like plank and it looked like you were like, like yeah, it was really cool. Um, and that one's also in 3D, so you can wear 3D glasses and all the stuff on the walls will pop out. Um, I wish it did have a soundtrack to it though. Soundtrack. No Just soundtrack. No soundtrack. Yeah, but it was cool though. Alrighty, right now we're gonna head down to Aftermath 2. Uh, they just recently opened up part of the underground for West Coast Racers. So it'll be like kind of like our first little look at that, which is awesome. Okay, as you can see, we're entering, like, you can't even see, you can barely see my hand. Look at there's my Apple Watch, but wow, it is pitch black over here. You can't see anything. Alrighty, this is like our first little look at the new underground area for West Coast racers. And you can get like a really good view of the coaster from up here. I'll definitely have to come here during the day to check this out. This is really cool. I am really excited for this coaster. I think it's gonna be a really good ride. But they have Aftermath 2 open for Fright Fest, so they had to go ahead and hurry up and pave this area and clean it all up. Looks like they've painted the snack shack here. It's got like a nice teal color on that. And then yeah, this is just, a bunch of just emptiness for right now until they open everything up. Apocalypse, I believe, is open tonight. I'm not really sure. There isn't someone out front, but maybe... Oh yeah, I hear the chain lift, so it is open tonight. But how cool. This is awesome. This is a really good view of the coaster right here. Alrighty, next up is Aftermath 2. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. Please proceed with caution. They have to evacuate. The doc has the cure. Pick it up, pick it up, you gotta be infected. You go to the left, you go to the right, let's go. Oh. Go to the right. Oh god, I'm by myself. Oh wow, this is like a huge little maze, a chain link maze. I can't help you, I'm sorry. Straight ahead, between the boxes. Straight ahead, between the boxes. Oh. Oh, we're going into a hazmat area. There's our exit, our freedom. We 
survived Aftermath 2. All right, so we just got out of Aftermath 2. Um, it was okay. It, it, it a lot needs of a, energy. Yeah, the, the cast is a lot of energy, that's for sure. So shout out to the performers. Um, the sets there are very big, but uh, I, I wish they would utilize them more and um, maybe do a little bit more set dressing. But other than that, the cast was like a lot of fun. They're actually really energetic, so. Yeah. Time. Yeah, good. All right, we're gonna get ready to go through Nightmares. Scare Zone, this is located close to Revolution and Viper. And also, if you're heading up towards Tatsu, that's where the Scare Zone is. Look at how cool this is at night. I'm surprised there isn't a soundtrack though. Usually there's a, uh, ooh. Usually there's like sound, like a soundtrack in these Scare Zones, but right now there isn't anything. Ooh, look at this guy. I'm a really big fan of all the UV stuff and I love this guy at night, it's so cool. Yeah, overall the scare zone's really cool. I just wish it, uh, they would incorporate some music to it because it is pretty quiet. Uh, and that's kind of like a reoccurring thing here that I think they can improve on next year is adding soundtracks to all these attractions. And if they do that, then it would just amp it up even more. Alrighty, next up on our list is Condamned. Ooh, this is a returning maze. This was here last year and this was actually one of my favorite mazes at the event. Uh, this one's actually really detailed, and you can see by the facade, it's a really pretty facade. So how about we go ahead and take a look inside this horrible house. So what'd you think of that one? Pretty good. It smells really weird in there. So if it's sensitive yeah. to smells, I so yeah. just be wary. That well, one, you know. uh, that one did have some smells in it. Uh, the set design was actually really cool in that one. It looks kind of like a hoarder house. Um, again, there's no soundtrack in these though, which is kind of odd. Uh, I'm so used to the horror nights mazes where they have like a nice, like crazy soundtrack, but. You this can one hear didn't. everybody else screaming, what they're doing in the next room. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much uh, the only, I guess, negative thing about this. Uh, but other than that, it was a fun maze. It was a cool idea, and they could keep this one around for at least another year, yeah. and maybe improve it next year. So yeah, it was more, good. Yeah. more clutter. Yeah, it was fun. All righty, here we go. Going into the unlocked vault, six six six.
I don't know where I'm going. It actually had a trigger in there. All right, so we just got out of uh, Bolt 666 uh, unlocked. So it's a little bit different this year than years previous. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. They actually had a trigger scare in there, like from Halloween Horror Night. Yeah, that actually helped out the maze near tremendously. The, yeah, near like one portion of it. So um, yeah, I think I think overall they need to do more things like that. Um, and this one actually did have music in it, so that was actually. I really, did notice that. In one yeah, of the rooms. that and was. It, it enhances so many things. So. Cool, love it. Good job, Six Also, uh, we're joined by the League of Extraordinary Vloggers, so I'll go ahead and leave their channel down in the description below. So be sure to check them out as well. Alrighty, Little Red Riding Hood has gone mad. So we've done this one before. This has been here years past, but I wonder if they've changed everything. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Up there's the big bad wolf. <laughs> We made it. We made it through Red's Revenge. All right, so we just got out of Red's Revenge. Um, I think it's time for this one to go ahead and uh, go back to the cemetery. <laughs> it's a little tired. It starts off really strong, and then I don't know. Yeah, it starts out cool, and there's some cool props throughout the attraction, yeah, but a great idea too. Yeah, um, really cool idea. I mean, the fairy tale idea in general is really. Cool. Yeah. So um, maybe in the future, maybe next year, the year after, they can do some more fairy tale ideas. But um, yeah, I think this one's go ahead. good to call it quits after this year. Alrighty, our last maze of the night. This is uh, right next to Ninja. And this is Willoughby's Resurrected. So this one has uh, been here in the past, but I wonder again, just like the other ones that have been here, what if they changed anything? Because there's been subtle changes here and there. So how about we take a stroll through this little haunted mansion? That's what it looks like on the outside at least. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we just got out of uh, Willoughby's Resurrected. Uh, the sets in there are really cool. They're very big. Yeah, the scale are... It, it's, actually, it's really beautiful in there, honestly. Yeah. What it could benefit, though, is a soundtrack. That's all it needs yep. in this again, house. Again, this is like a reoccurring thing. It's just there needs to be more sound design in all these mazes. But the sets in here are really big. Like some of, the, some of the walls in here were like 15 feet high. They're really big. So, yeah, it's, it's a cool looking maze. I think uh, maybe it's time to change it up, though, for next year. Yes. But other than that, music. Um, add some music. Bring yeah, music, That's music all it is needs. definitely needed.
a scare zone that's in the front of the park. So this is really cool. They have all the UV lights and they have all the fog machines. This is really cool. And the characters up here are kind of like demon goblin looking characters. That's pretty neat. Well, that's it from Six Flags Magic Mountain. It actually was a pretty fun night tonight. Uh, overall, the mazes were pretty cool. Um, definitely need some improvement in some of them. It's not a bad thing. It's just uh, for future, I think they could use some help with like sound design and maybe um, like character integrity. But again, like it, it was a fun night. I think uh, Fright Fest is really cool this year. Uh, so if you are planning on buying tickets, definitely do that. And remember, Fright Fest is not a separate ticket event. You just, just get the park here all day, and then Fright Fest just kind of bleeds into the night. Yep. Uh, the Maze Pass is like, I think, under $20 if you're a pass holder, so it's a really good deal. But uh, yeah, it was a great time here at Six Flags. Except for the price. Very good for the price. Really good entertainment, too, Six Flags. Yeah. Great yeah. shows. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I have brand new videos every single week and you won't want to miss out on all the new content. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful evening, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.